Good morning, everybody. First up today, with the recent Marie Kondo organization craze hitting homes across the country, many thrift stores are getting massive waves of donated clothes. Now, this is great news for savvy shoppers. So here with her pro tips to maximize your next thrift shopping experience is Kelly Hertzberg from Sweet Kelly Styling. Welcome. That's right, Sweet Kelly and Styling. <laughs> that is something that is just blowing up everybody, you know, deciding if their clothes spark joy or if we want to send them on their way. Yes. And I've noticed there's great stuff at the thrift shop so we think we kind of know how to go we go and we just see what's there and figure it out you've got a better way yeah. um, how do you think we should approach thrifting I have a couple of tips um, so the first one is go with a list you know the the thrift stores can be so overwhelming especially with all this new content and uh, if you go into your closet, kind of take stock of what you have, mm -hmm. then you can go in more fully prepared. Okay, I need a pair of black jeans. I need a blazer, you know, and then you're not overwhelmed by all of the things. Which is good. And making that list requires that we first kind of cull through our own things. That's correct. True. Mm -hmm. So that's good. We kind of get two things done with all of that. Right. So you have clients mm -hmm. um, who do this. And what do you tell them to wear when they go in? Because there's no place generally to change your clothes. Sometimes there is, but most of the time you can't try things on. Right, and the fitting room limit is very low, so I often have my clients try on, you know, 70 items. So I have them wear a really basic outfit, um, usually for women, bl black leggings and a black tank top. So oh, we can there we go. Pull, yeah, just like that picture. So um, you can put a jacket over it for transit, but when you get there, you can take it off, and then you can really try things on right over the top. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So it turns out we decided to do this segment with you without knowing that somebody <laughs> who we actually work with here at King uses your styling services. Yes. Her name is Yvonne, and she's going to come on. <laughs> out Vaughn join us would you hello and this is one of her outfits that she found which looks dynamite so tell us a bit about this yeah so the the third tip that I have is really experiment and try things on because you're not sure right if you're How gonna would like you it know? yeah yeah so this is a dress that Yvonne wasn't sure about she's like I'm not sure I like that um, so I was like just try it on you know that's that's really a rule I have when I go shopping with my clients and she ended up loving it and ended up buying it so that, and it look, fits so well yeah. that you'd never know it yeah. has that cool zipper would you turn around so we can see I love the yeah. zipper details yeah. in the back of that dress which and makes it look great the pumps are also from Goodwill as well are you kidding yeah you wait a score <laughs> um, so do you have anything on the rack that you think would go with this um, not this particular I mean there is this beautiful black jacket we got um, oh gosh. that she could wear we'll as well. Pop that on over yeah. here just so we can see what that looks like. Is that velvet or what's the material? Yeah, it's like a velvet, very, oh very nice texture, isn't it? That's beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> Way so this, to go. So she's just ready for an evening or a wedding or, okay. you know. Anything. Terrific. You're yeah. going to make a costume change for us and you'll be back in just a second. <laughs> all right. So let's take a look at what we have on the rack here yeah. and how you organized things. So these are all the clothes that Yvonne bought. These are her clothes. Yes. Way to go. <laughs> Yes, so these are all of her clothes that she bought. So we've got a couple of pairs of pants yep. here. Um, and then all of these beautiful tops. We even got a couple of lovely jackets. And everything's um, coordinated because you mm -hmm. got it all in one place. I love that color and the one that you're wearing as well. Oh, thank you. Let's take a look at some of the photos that we have that kind of spell out some other things that she found and how they look on. This is really cute. Yeah. Tell us about this one. Um, so I just had her put on a, a cardigan over a blouse and some jeans. And then you can see those pumps in the picture again. Yep. There they were. Yep. They worked out well. Yeah. Cool then, pop of color. Yeah. This is another one that Yvonne wasn't sure about. She didn't like the shirt. But it was ended up being only $4. So she took a $4. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. $4, $4 style risk. Yeah. There. That's worth it. Mm-hmm. Here's another one. She wanted to, to um, buy some leopard print. And so we got a little print in there. Super cute. <laughs> and I noticed that when you even though that was just one piece she's got the whole outfit on so yep. she can see that she can actually wear that correct? and these yes and these these serve as her virtual lookbook too so I send her all these photos and she can go through in the morning and say oh my gosh yeah this I'm gonna wear this this I morning forgot I had this yeah or right. I have this or I can put these That's two things so together cool. yeah and it's strategic you're not ending up you know a lot of us go out and we have this we buy another black skirt or you right. know, whatever it is right this makes you mix it up because you've got that book and this photo here is um it, it, it's an illustration my next point which is when you're trying things on manipulate the look you know tuck things in and and roll up the sleeves and you can see one picture is her tucked and one picture is her untucked right. and the the untucked uh, makes her legs look a little shorter right right um, so if you tuck that in it makes her legs look longer it makes the leg line look longer all right so just think about it a little bit don't just throw it on but see if you can't manipulate it a bit right yeah. exactly yeah totally makes sense okay is Yvonne dressed <laughs> Are you dressed? Okay, come on out. Here she is. Hi. She's standing between us. Lovely. 
Isn't Art, this a great? Yeah, absolutely. I love this vest. Yeah. This is my favorite piece. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted With to illustrate. The hood. I know. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Isn't it cute? So yeah. all these pieces and the shoes were bought at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And the cool coordination, Yvonne, is that you did gray and tan, but it looks perfect. Yeah. Because it's all, the earrings, do they come from? I got them from my, on my own at Goodwill. On, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very proud of it. Thank you. All right, so tell us how you shop for pieces that go together when it's not shown that way in a thrift store. Sure, yeah. So this piece, um, Yvonne wasn't sure about again. It was really uh, quite tight. She's like, I'm not sure if I want to wear this. And I said, well, if you just put something over right. it, you know, this mm -hmm. serves as a base. Then you're good to go. Yep. And and then I, what I like to do, all my clients know this about me, that I love to roll up the sleeves. Yep, that me is, too. Yes, yes, I you're like doing it. it too. I love to roll up I the sleeves. I don't like things down around my wrist, so <laughs> it's easy to remember to roll them up. But on, yep. That's very cool. Did you get all of this at one time? Mm -hmm. How long did it take to do it? About two to three hours. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, could yep. you have done it on your own? Oh, no. <laughs> No, nope. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Kelly did yeah. that. And so do you go and pre-scout ever? Or do you do reconnaissance first? Or I do. I go and shop for an hour with my clients. And then I have them meet me about an hour later. And I'll have this huge pile of clothing. And then we, we work through it. We try things on. We, we formulate the outfits. Um, and then at the end, so Yvonne ended up spending $285. For all of this? Mm -hmm, 30 items. That's I amazing. Know. Yep. That's less than ten dollars an item. Yeah, on average. it is. And I'm actually, sure. then at the end, what I'll do with um, I'll send them an email, which is what I call a price comparison email. So I'll detail the overview of the right. whole experience, and then I'll look up per particular items that we've bought, um, so that we can see what the regular price is in comparison to the price that we, mm -hmm. you know, that we spent. So, for example, um, these pants, Yvonne bought them for eight dollars. Page jeans. And they're page jeans, right? Yeah. So they so retail. This is like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Please. They retail for two ten. Oh, man. Um, this blouse here, um, we bought for ten dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Ten dollars, and mm -hmm. it retails for two ninety five. Good grief. And finally, this is the best one. So this Max Mara jacket was ten dollars, and it retails for nine seventy five. So almost a thousand dollars. Are you kidding? <laughs> Yeah. That is amazing. Do you feel like you hit the mother load? I do. This? I do. Yeah. It's such a smart thing oh, to yeah. do because we all need to show up, you know, mm -hmm. in yeah. business clothes every day, but nobody, you know, that I know could afford to pay right. retail for all of these things. Which thrift store did you go to? We went to the one in Shoreline. In Shoreline. Mm -hmm. And my, my actual favorite one is the Ballard Goodwill. That's great. How about that? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Let me fight you for the vest. <laughs> We're going to wrestle for the vest. Thank Up you. next, we meet an incredible young man and refugee who escaped death in Myanmar to find a new life here in the Northwest. His incredible story is next.